Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, we're still playing as Zenith Guard Max here, and we've got three possibilities. I'm not going to go to Storm Summon. I'd like to bolster our power if possible. We have Detonation Bay, Detonation Park, and Razor Shore. And I guess we probably want to use, like, we could use Cataclysm. Uh, this is probably pretty easy to defend, whereas this one's a little bit more in the open. Razor Shore. We have to keep that Volatile Vec alive. That can be a little bit more frustrating to deal with. Uh, the nice thing is that there's tiles for pulling guys into here. So, a bit of a trade-off scenario. But I think let's start here. We'll see how this goes. Lovely. Okay. So, okay. We probably... We probably want to get into position to kill him. But we can kill him with any of these units, really. I'll start over here. We'll see if these guys decide to sit in these tiles by the water. Alright. Okay. Uh, that's not gonna help me, really. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, because we have the Cataclysm coming, we could come down here, knock this guy down. He won't die yet, but he'll die next turn. Um, I could then pull this guy over, so he's going to take damage from here, and we could get the kill on the, uh, on this guy. And then that way, we're blocking one, this guy will die next turn, this guy will take damage from here, and then two, uh, only one more will pop up. Now, it would be nice to try and get this achievement, where we hit four enemies with a laser. Uh, do we want to have that many enemies alive at one point? It's kind of scary. Plus, like, this next row is going to go next as well. But in a way, I, that's probably the safer approach, actually. Bye! Got him. Okay. So this guy's dead. The nice thing is we can trap these guys here. Like, it gives us uh, a lot of flexibility. Okay, his attack is going to go over top. But I could pull him over. This guy's going to die. And then we could block this next one. And then this one this one we should actually be able to cruise through relatively easily. And we want to pull back here because his attack will go off before the enemy emerges. Actually, I should have No, that we're fine. I was gonna say we should have repaired, but we're actually fine. Got him! Okay, well, uh, I don't think I've ever seen a turn where we haven't had an enemy on the last one. So this works. We can just use this, because why not? Okay, that was fast. Fast, fast. We can maybe try the next one. We got a promotion here. What was it? Mech move. Oh, that's actually... That's actually really good. That's really, really good. Okay, we do have Crater Bay. Defend the Terraformer. The Terraformer does give us some pretty nice options. But there's this guy out here. We have to protect the defense lab, which is way up here. But getting the extra core would be really nice. Our power is starting to build. And because we had to spend... Uh, Reputation on power before. This could be a nice trade-off. Let's give her. It'd be really nice. What does this guy do? Okay, so he's going to move in and... Okay, and web. I kind of want to just stay out of his range, but I also feel like... Unless he grabs this one, which would be spectacular. These guys are all super strong. Alpha Scorpion, Alpha Centipede, Extra Health... 
Okay, this guy's gonna do two acid damage. This guy just three web, and this guy just one web. Okay. Uh, what's the move? Three, three, two. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these guys like a little bit further back. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. So I'm gonna go here. And I think we'll go here for now. I want these guys to be encouraged to attack these buildings here. Even if he attacks this building here, like, we can kill him right straight away, so... Let's go for it. Oh, pod. Okay, lovely. Oh, he just webbed here! Oh, that is so good for us! Alright, terraformer. We're obviously gonna terraform this side. Like, there's not even... I can't see a way in which I don't, you know? Uh, the only thing I want to figure out is, is there a way I can get this guy over there? And I don't think so. Okay. So that's that one. We could do... I kind of need to break this up a little bit. And we should get a shield on the terraformer as well, if we can. But the only way to actually deal with this... ...is by pushing him. I think we'll drop the shield on the terraformer, or... Yeah, I don't have a way that I could have had this guy on one of these tiles and still dealt with him for the double shield. I could run down here. And I think we'll just put the early shield on this. But we got rid of those two alphas straight away, which is big. That's really huge for us here. Alright. Oh, man. The terraform targets. Oh, they just line up so nicely. <laughs> That's so good. And this gets destroyed, too. Well, actually, I think he still pops up. but Because he can... If we go here and kill this one... Then we take this shot here, and he dies. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Come down and block. Shield him up again. Okay, we're cruising. Now... We still have to terraform stuff. And I think we terraform to the north here. Get a repair in, and then these guys are gonna pop up. If they are sitting in this area, great. If not, we kill them anyway. Okay, that's terraform death. And then we got one to deal with. All right, we could go for we're closer with XP here. So I'm gonna. S oh, we don't have the immune. Hold on. Let's go like this. Start with that. Oh no. Hold on. Oh, the smoke. Because I don't have a way to get through there, then. We could do this. But he's already at max health. Let me reset this. We'll terraform here. 
I'm just trying to see if I can get the kill with this guy. That's the thing. And if we get into that smoke, I can't. So, like... I could do this. There we go. That'll do. Okay. Man, this is going great. Terraformer protected. Terraformed all the things. And we protected that, so we get the extra reputation out of it. Or the extra core, sorry. That's big, man. Getting those cores in these missions? Real nice. Oh, double core! And the smoke drop. Okay, this is cool. Smoke drops anywhere five tiles on the map. And it's free. Do I have the slot available, though? That's the only thing. Rocket Fist did help there. Uh, the smoke drop is like a one-time use, but it's a get-out-of-jail-free card. You know? I just don't know if that's going to be best for us. I'm very tempted to put in... Um, we have the two cores now. I'm very tempted to put the core into this mech and do the plus two health and allies immune on the burst beam. I think we're going to do that. Makes her super tanky and we have the immune allies, so that's all good. And then... I'm trying to figure out a way to work in repair drop. I just don't know if it's better than all these other things that we have. Like, I could argue the shielding, but... You know, this we get to use twice, at least. I think I'm gonna hold- I just- I think I'm just gonna hold on to the smoke drop and maybe sell it. It's good, but I just don't think we can work it in. Alright, do we want reputation or power? If we could get up to that full power, that would be a really nice buffer for us. Destroy two enemies- or destroy two mountains, kill at least seven enemies. That seems really difficult if we have to waste shots on mountains, too. Defend the Earth Mover, kill seven enemies. I think we go Detonation Bay. The one we were kind of thinking about going to at the beginning. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, come down here, and then you can sit in the middle. Man, getting this lineup shot, I think is gonna be hard. Especially I'm so I'm so prone to like blocking things because it's an easy way of like guaranteeing less enemies. Okay, um, this... Is this a problem? I think it might be. Because this guy's shooting acid, right? He's shooting acid at these three tiles. But I could plop this guy down. He'd be sitting there. Actually, I might even want to... Oh, I don't want to push him up because then it hits the coal plant. We could take this shot and kill him. But then we have acid on the buildings. And that's enough to take one down. Um, if I come up here and knock him down, then we can go one, two, three, four, and pull this guy over, right? No, wait, he'll be in the way. I, then I couldn't get there. And I couldn't get there. Uh, and if I knock him up, that's bad. If I knock him over here, he will take three, we'll take one. But the web will still be there. Could also do this where we knock him up. <laughs> knock him up. This guy could live. We could bring, um, Coral over and laser him to kill. Then, I can move down here and have the movement, pull him over. He will deal the acid to this guy and to this guy. Now, the shield, it does block the acid. So, he would remove that. Actually, no, it'll get blocked by the mountain, won't it? It's not a lob. It'll get blocked by the mountain. This guy lives, this guy lives, but he'll block this thing. So actually, I kind of like that. There we go. There we go. 
Okay, power generator. The only problem is that it's so close to us. Now, does this guy... Oh, cool. This guy does take acid damage when he pops out. That's cool. Because the puddle was there. All right. Uh, easy enough to pull him over again, take more damage. This guy is going to be obliterated because he takes tons of damage with the acid on him. Uh, but... The other thing we could do is knock him off this way, he dies. Then come down here, but this guy's blocked. I can't really get a shot on him, no matter what I do here. Um... So I think I'll just come and block something. I don't want to take out the mountain because he's going to do that. And then only one more will pop up. Whoops, sorry. Only one more will pop up here. Oh, no! Oh, we're so lucky! <laughs> oh, I didn't notice the seismic thing was going to take down the mountain. Oh, that's crazy. Well, we lost the power, but we saved the uh, power generator. So, looks like it's going to be an even trade that way. Oh, my God. That, okay. I honestly, I just didn't even see it. Okay, we can come back here and kill this guy off finally. This guy's gonna shoot down here. He shoots before this guy as well. Um, so we could just get out of the way of this. And where's this guy shooting? He shoot. Oh, they're just gonna shoot each other. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. So this guy's gonna apply the acid, then this guy's gonna shoot down there and kill him, which will kill him, actually, because this guy will be dead. And then... I'm gonna hop onto this side. Just so that we have some more flexibility here. This guy might be in a weird spot now, but... We can look to start pulling people over the ledge, which I was hoping to do here. We can't. Uh, we could shield, though. Let's put the shield on him. Yeah, we're good. It's too bad. The mountain thing, that was tricky. Oh, that cancelled his attack because of the smoke, too. Oh, man. A lot of little cool things going on here. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. Um... Yikes. Okay. This guy's in trouble. How much damage is this? Three. That ain't good. Plus one, that ain't good. Huh. And this is the only one? This is the only seismic activity? I don't think I could help him if I tried. Honestly. What can I possibly do here? I can't pull myself that way, right? I could pull him towards me. That doesn't really help, because if I come down here, I can't do anything. I could do this, but that's not going to break anything. It's just going to kill us. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. 
Man, I actually think we're gonna lose a mech here. I think we're gonna lose a pilot, I mean. We can revive the mech. That's the thing. We can get the kill there, but that's literally all I can do. This guy's not attacking. If this guy could wasn't webbed, we could pull any of these dudes over. But this will not break that web, I don't think. Huh. Yeah, this is a big problem. This is a bit of a cluster F. I think he's down. Like, I think there's nothing I can do there. I think we gotta let him go, man. It's too bad, we just have to survive this one turn, too. Okay, let's think. Let's let's review all possible freaking scenarios here. Okay, so this guy we could kill, but I cannot kill any of these others. I cannot kill any of the other guys with him. I can't get him into a position to shoot at them. What options do we have here? I could come up to the north, do this. That doesn't help me, just kills my buddy. I can attack here, kills my buddy. I can go into the smoke. Doesn't help me. None of these help. And then these attacks, like, I don't think that I can go down there. And I can't shield anybody. I could shield him, but that's not going to do anything in this scenario. Can't shield myself. So, like, we are kind of just boned. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose him. That hurts. That hurts. Steve Trevor, my man. My man, Steve. And, like, if it wouldn't be so bad if it was just this guy, but it's two of them. You know? Because even if I do the repair here, he's gone. I'm going to do the repair because... I have nothing else we can do. And with less than four mech damage, that's not gonna happen either. Oh man. This one, t this turned. Goodbye, Steve. That's our, f I don't think we've ever lost a mech. That's not bad. Pilot was killed and will not be able to act for the rest of the mission, but it's not the end of the world. We lost that pilot, though, which does suck. And he was our carry-forward pirate. Pirate. Pilot. Damn it. Mechs can pilot themselves, it's better to have a specialized pilot. Yeah. So now we don't have any pilot in there. No upgrades, no nothing. Oh. My god. That is so crazy. We have to destroy five goos and protect the corporate tower. Yikes. I wonder if, uh... If it's worth putting this in here. Not really, because I need to destroy stuff. Alright, well, uh... Corporate HQ. Let's give her... Holy moly. frick a -froly. Uh... Okay. I need to get close to that blob. This thing needs to die as well. Oh, that's cute. Oh, good news. Okay. Attempts to squish the adjacent tile. Ooh. All right. So we could do this, which will actually kill him. Because he'll lose the extra health. And this guy will be down to three. Okay, this is cool because that'll block that, right? Nice. Um, now. 
We might have to tank a damage here. It's not the end of the world. I'm gonna have to knock this guy back. Tank his shot. Unless we re-shield. I don't know if that's totally necessary. Or, yeah, see, the other thing is, like, if I pull him out of the way, then he's gonna hit this, so we don't want that. Um, what we could do is pull this guy into the cloud. But he'll just move out anyway, right? Yeah, they have three move. Either way, he's gonna take damage, whether I shield him this time or next time to get the kill. But I feel like we might as well use it now so that we have actions available next turn. Like, instead of shielding him next turn and then going in, I- either way, it's... It is what it is. Okay. Lovely. One thing we could do is shield that thing. We can kill off both of these by slamming. He could come up here, kill this one, and this would be shielded from this attack. Or, actually, I think a, a better move is that we shield both of these bad boys. Shield both of those. We come down here, we kill this one. Or we go even next to it, so we block. Kill him. These two are shielded. This guy's still alive. We have to kill five of these, though. Which means, okay, this will be two, then we'll have to kill three more, and both of these are gonna split into two, but they're weaker. We still would have the time, I think. Because this guy will turn into two blobs of single, right? So that will be four, if we kill those two blobs. And then the next turn we kill this one, then we'll have the last turn to go. I think. Okay. Yeah, I think in order just to protect everything, I think this is better. Oh no, let's go from the side. So we have the block. It's a bit unfortunate, this positioning. We could push up here. It'd be really nice to be able to get, uh, Coral over here. Cause then we could hit all three of these and they would all die. I'm trying to see if there's a way to make that happen. Cause like, we could do this, but that doesn't really help me. We have, uh, one, two, three, four. But then this guy's still alive, and he's pretty strong. We can't kill him anyways. He's he's going to survive the turn regardless. But maybe he might actually kill off a blob if this guy splits. And we could pull here to get the kill. No pilot XP, but it's a kill. And then, beautiful! Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Five goos down. This guy's gonna kill that goo. And he's... Uh, he won't block anything, but... Okay. The tower's protected. So we don't have to worry about that if it gets attacked.
Okay, I don't love this. I can pull him off. So that gets us out of that jam. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I think I move up here, kill the blob. And then... Oh, three damage. Do we just tank it? <laughs> I guess. I guess we do. These guys are going to attack- this guy's going to attack him. But not until this guy attacks- not until after he attacks anyone. What I could do is this. Doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. I can't kill them. Anyways. I don't have the capability to kill- well... I could do this, actually. Which would kill him. This guy's attack would hit nothing. And then this guy tanks the three damage. Kills the goo. How much is the goo damage? It's four. Yeah, no. Yeah, so I think I, maybe that's the play. And then we're going to tank this up and we'll be okay. All right. Not bad. We did that pilot list, which is kind of interesting. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, it's really not great that we don't have a pilot. That's a bit of an issue. <laughs> you know, like, that's a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem. Okay. Hmm. So we have six to spend. Power-wise, I actually feel comfortable right here. Man, is Titan Fist almost better? than the other one. Probably is, but I don't know if it's worth the the investment of reputation. Range class we don't have. Kickoff boosters. I mean, you can really utilize that at the beginning of a battle quite easily. But like, what do you replace? I think repair drop's crucial for us, especially going to that last mission. Ramming engines upgrade is pretty risky for us, even though we start with the shield. I don't know, maybe maybe that's what we have to do. I think we need to install a core here for the health, because we don't have a pilot in there. And... Rocket Fist is kind of cool. It does give us that pushback, but... It's attacking from a distance. And I don't really want to replace the repair drop with... The pull. I think what we do is we grab three we grab the cores. Grab two cores. I put one here for the extra health. And then I maybe I take the ramming damage. That's all I can really see. That's all I really have. This really sucks that we don't have an extra pilot. Wow. All right. All right, so power-wise, we're good. Um, I'm wondering, man, is it worth it going through with, with the Zenith Guard all the way to that final island? I almost feel like it's not. Like, this is such a, spe a specific class. It might be better to just try and take this on. Try and survive this attack. And... And then... Come back through, do the other four islands with, like, a different group or something. I don't know. It's a tough call. I also feel like so many people have seen, like, all of the, all of the mechs already, so I don't know if we should continue. I'm going to be starting up um, XCOM 2 soon again. But, uh... So I don't know if we, if we want to have, like, both of those going at the same time. I'd really like to try and do the final mission, at least, with the Zenith Guard. 
Um, but I don't know if it makes sense to go through all the islands, as I said. So, anyways, let me know your thoughts. I'll pause here, and then when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll make a move. Thanks, guys, for watching. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye.